Hey guys, take control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Apple Watch if it doesn't turn on or it won't turn on you. And it's completely black like this and you just don't know what to do. So these are going to be a couple things that you can try to hopefully fix your Apple Watch. So as you can see here, I have the Ultra one and the older model Apple Watch as well. And these methods are going to work on any Apple Watch that you have. So the very first thing in the first troubleshooting step when it comes to troubleshooting your Apple Watch not turning on is doing a forced restart. So a force restart can be done by simply holding the crown and then the button underneath of it, which is like the side button. And the trick here is you want to hold these two buttons at the same time for about five to 10 seconds or until you see the Apple logo appear. So what I do is usually I just press these two buttons at the same time. So you want to do it at the same time and keep on holding it. And that's going to do a force restart and hopefully turn on your Apple Watch. So as you can see here, you need to hold it at the same time Sometimes it takes even longer. See, if you see the timer, that's a good thing, and you still want to keep on holding it just like that until it comes up. So as you can see here, we're going to keep on holding it. And finally, as you see here, Apple Watch is turning on. And the same exact thing you can apply with any phone. Maybe if you have other or older generation of Apple Watch, same thing, this crown. And the side button usually want to hold it together just like that and here it takes a minute sometimes it might show up the time and then you want to retry a few times but the trick is just keep on holding it till you can get the apple logo going on which means it's starting up and by then hopefully your apple watch is working as you can see here both of these are now have the apple watch uh with the logo on which means they're good to go and should be working now the other thing you do let's say you keep on doing this for some time you're pressing and holding the crown and the button for maybe even 30 seconds even a minute and it doesn't turn on it's time to gonna verify that your apple watch actually has or charging correctly and the way to check is to make sure that your cable that you're using right the charge cable isn't defective try if you there's two parts to it usually you have the actual cable itself if you have a different cable try with the different cable and same thing with the different wall adapter you want to try with a different wall adapter sometimes these parts can be faulty and you think it's charging but it's actually not charging so try different method if you can of charging with a different one to rule out that it's not your cable or the wall adapter so that's going to be another thing you want to try out so after you have tried it out and you know that for sure that these work your cable is good you want to go ahead and try this on your iphone that you last connected your apple watch with so what you'll do here is on your iphone right you want to locate the watch app itself and then once you open it up you should see a menu just like this and here we're going to go into accessibility. Under accessibility, the key thing here is voiceover. If you have voiceover on, you need to turn off voiceover because with voiceover turned on, it's going to cause some issues with your Apple Watch not turning on correctly. So turn that off. So voiceover off. And then along with that here is uh, you want to check. Let's see. Take a look at these settings here. reduce transparency you also want to make sure that is turned off as well sometimes that can also interfere with your apple watch especially if it's turned off but basically you want these turned off so that they're not impacting your apple watch by any means at all and that should be it for in terms of it now there's another option for some apple watches that have this screen curtain which i don't see it here but if you do have something called screen curtain i would recommend turning that off as well so the two of the main settings is turn off voiceover and screen curtain as well now after you have done that and uh, the other thing you can also try to do sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't is that if there's an update available in of the apple watch you see here under general software update you can try to see if you can download and install the update although it might not work because it's not connected if it's dead or something or it could be that the screen is black but it still works you never know the software update could potentially fix it go ahead and see if it's possible to install the software update and who knows maybe it will work for you now lastly if none of that is working for you the other thing you can try to do with your apple watch if you're still having issues is that let's say it's off like this so i'm going to go ahead and turn this off right let's say your Apple Watch is turned off 
Let's go ahead and turn on. So if it's off completely, you know, it's not turning on. What you want to do instead of holding both the crown and the bottom piece here, you want to just press and hold this one right here. It's going to be the main, the option right here, which is the side button or the power. In a way, it's a like a button here. And this one, you're going to hold about 20 to 30 seconds. Sometimes just this button itself, if the Apple Watch went into what's known as power reserve more mode where it only shows the time but not turn it on. That means it's in a power reserve more mode which is basically trying to reserve the power of it. And you're gonna keep on holding until you see the Apple logo and after you do that, hopefully your Apple Watch is turning on and it's good to go. So that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful and your Apple Watch is working now. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.